Because if you've been baptized with water when you did not believe, you still need to be baptized. If you are baptized and an, as an unbeliever, you actually didn't get baptized because we've all, you know, gone swimming in a swimming pool. We've all gone swimming in the beach. You know, we, we've all uh, probably had a bath before, but that doesn't mean you got baptized. Just because you got wet in the past doesn't mean you got baptized. Baptism with water is once you are saved. If you were not saved when you were baptized with water, you need to be baptized for real the first time. You're not getting baptized the second time. You haven't even been baptized yet. You just got wet. And I just want to show you an example of that in Acts 19. Um, it says here, we'll just read from verse 1. It says, And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? So he's asking them, Have you been baptized with the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. So they don't even know what the Holy Ghost is. They don't even understand what salvation is. And he said unto them, What then were you baptized? Un unto what then were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. And look at this. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So you see here some disciples, they had been baptized by John. They had gotten wet, but they weren't saved. They didn't even know what the Holy Ghost was. They didn't understand salvation. And once Paul had preached unto them what salvation was, he preached unto them the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is on Christ Jesus. And then we read there in verse 5, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So if somebody is not saved when they're dunked in water, they still need to be baptized with water because they haven't technically been baptized already.